visionary. Well, it's, it's visionary. And I think the greatest thing is that people, I've seen people, and even people that have um, been in some way involved in the purchase and payment, and they work it how, can't work it how it goes without power. <laughs> you know, they think there's supposed to be a plug on the end of it, yeah. We can have winds well over 100 kilometres an hour here. We're on the edge of a cliff 50 metres up um, with really the winds come from New Zealand, effectively, <laughs> or that direction. Um, and uh, they can really just slam into this headland. I mean, the beauty of uh, Phil's work is that the four yellow components that you see to it uh, in lighter winds all operate individually and, and have a dance and a rhythm. Once we've got a design done on the computer, we can recreate that exact shape. Well, this piece that you're looking there is really, it's not really the work itself. It's obviously, it's a funny looking shape and uh, I've got a little model of part of the machine just to make sure that it can cut it properly and that's a, a mould for a, a lead casting for a counterweight. This is a model in a variety of funny colours of a, of a sculpture that uh, Phil is called Grace. Um, we've made this in several sizes. Um, starting with one about, um, maybe it's about sort of three metres high. Then we made a small one, only about uh, less than a metre tall. Um, and at the moment we're making an extra large one, which is about, I'm not sure exactly, but maybe about five metres tall. So the size of that circular shape there uh, is about 1.8 metres diameter. That's quite a large piece. So each of those thirds there is, is a you know is a big mold and so we will be uh, gluing together lots and lots of sheets of MDF and then putting them on the bed of the machine and cutting them out so that means there would be the, the, the equivalent of large blocks of MDF which get turned into dust we wind up with drums and drums of dust and, and it turns out to be exactly the shape um, you know within a probably half a millimeter or less of what we designed on the computer. His engineering skills are undoubted. His artistic skill is in developing his, his talent as much as he can. Always trying new things, always looking at new ideas. But, and, and even seeing it fleetingly in an exhibition like Scots by the Sea brings enjoyment to a lot of people. The wind just captures them, you know. Just, they are beautiful to watch. We try and do everything here, um, which I really like, and when it comes to the installation, um, I can hardly think of any pieces that I haven't been, or you know, the guys haven't been to install, and um, it's a very nice thing um, because of the you know, relationships that we've built up over the years, and, um, and, and now we have sculptures in a lot of places and it's been a wonderful thing for me to go to these places, meet these people, see these environments. I still think that Wings is the best one we've ever seen, but I might be biased.
last one of the film, it's worse in a hurry. <laughs> Don helped me with um, a lot of the first sculptures that I made. Obviously you've got experience in engineering that um, Phil doesn't have. I have no artistic bent whatsoever. I don't have a, an artistic bone in my body. Um, but that doesn't matter because that's, that's, that's Phil's story. Without a DSA, a lot of this good stuff right now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You've just kind of got it all right at the moment, I think. Well, 30 years ago, um, New Zealand had its biggest airline tragedy. This year I had the opportunity to do two things for um, New Zealand and for the airline. One was to make them a memorial sculpture which they have in their um, hub building in Auckland and the other was a very special thing which was the making of a, um, of a, of a capsule which was put at the crash site. The concept of the capsule was that it would be in the shape of a koru which seemed to be um, the right concept, n not only because it's the symbol that the airline has always used and is, relates to New Zealand very strongly, but it's also um, a symbol for new beginnings. So these messages to the lost loved ones were effectively placed inside this one piece, um, you know, highly sculpted form. They are very involving and absorbing works. I mean, people look at his works and they're absorbed by it. Now, that's, that, that's a, a great, that's a great talent. 